Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to transform Brazilian wool to this amazing weft from this to looking as beautiful as this weft. And now I have two methods today. So if this is something that you definitely want to watch, why not stick around? welcome welcome lovely so let's bump right into what this video really is about so you want to grab your brazilian wool make sure it's looking as neat as possible then this is the method that i use to just you know speed up the whole process to getting my brazilian wool ready so when you are done with all of that you cut it with your um scissors you can just have any desired length that you want make sure that it's looking as natural as possible and yes we don't want it to have blunt ends and most especially is because the whole idea is for us to have that natural looking web so we want to make this as natural as possible so i've been getting questions as regards um, which brazilian wool are you actually using you know some people actually think that this is not brazilian wool. this is brazilian wool you know when you want to get this particular type in the market you have to make sure that the, it's look is the biggest size and is the type that has this natural look so let's move on to this tutorial so um when you grab your brazilian wool you cut and then you make sure you stretch so that you can have this natural looking end like as it is on the screen already so we're going to transform this into webs and yes there are two methods to this especially if you don't have the required um equipment for the second method so the very first method we want to set our rope for the first method now this method is a hand tied method is very very easy it's something that any beginner can actually do by themselves so you want to grab your um, brazilian wool extension and then you just want to follow this procedure i don't know how to explain this part but just follow what i am doing you get it so um you just want to keep adding you know little strands by strand not too tiny not too big you know but if you want to do it tiny girl you are good to go just do what is actually comfortable for you so basically this is what i am this is the um, amount of strands that i'm picking so you just want to keep following this procedure until you are done with you know creating all the webs that is needed well personally i prefer the second method especially because it's not time consuming this this first method is actually time consuming because you know you have to do a whole lot and girl when are you gonna be done with doing all of that so the second method is actually very easy if you if you don't have a sewing machine and you're in nigeria you know we have those um they call them obioma tailors you can just you know take your wife to them and um you know just direct them on what to do you and i'm sure they should be able to do it or you take it to any tailor that you're you know you're already used to basically i know most people would not want you you know to use their machines to sew um extension especially if they don't have any idea on how to do that anyways this is how the first method works so we're gonna um, grab our comb and you know brush this through and then the next thing you want to do is to make sure that the ends are looking as natural as possible you know we don't have you don't want to have some parts looking longer and some parts looking shorter so we're gonna work on that with our um scissors and this is how it's looking already so now let's get this thing off this rope because we're gonna be working on the second method i actually prefer the second method like i said it's so easy easy to do so you want to secure the ends like so and to do that you just tie the knots like it is on the screen just secure it once once is enough do the same for the other side secure it then the next thing you need to do is to cut it with your scissors and we're gonna be making use of the lighter to just you know secure that end so that it would not start you know going off the thread um the brazilian wood that was used to actually create this masterpiece so moving on if you're yet to give this video a huge thumbs up i'm sure you're already impressed with what you're seeing already trust me this extension is something if you don't want to do the crochet method you know having that natural look you don't want to do the crochet method it's something that you can work with you know when you're done you add some clips to the ends and then secure to your hair and you're good to go very very easy very very easy hairstyle so this is the first method so now moving on to the second method which is the best for me let me know which one actually works for you in the comment section you know 
so the first thing you need to do you need to spread your brazilian wool to the desired you know um should i say to the desired um size or um volume that's the perfect word volume that you actually want this to look if you want it um fuller you want it scanty you know spread it get it to your sewing machine and you just sew it this is actually a straight sewing a, a sewing machine that sews in a straight form but if you have a zigzag sewing machine that could work the only thing is that instead of um stitching um about four times or should i say six times in a straight sewing machine you'll be doing just three or two because it's zigzag but this is a straight sewing machine so i went i went by by three times you know when i was done sewing the first line then i just flip it and so and i just you know sew the second line flip and sew the third line before you would do the next step so this is basically what you're going to be doing this is so we can have that base of that you know how wet usually look like now it is always it has this um very neat finish at the at the top part so that is basically what we are trying to create over here so this is the second time so i'm just going to go by the third time you know and then after doing the third one i'm going to just you know turn the brazilian wool like you're you know folding it into two and then we would start sewing so if this is something that you're really really impressed about let me know in the comment section if you're gonna try this out let me know in the comment section and yes this is brazilian wool this is brazilian wool the same one that i used in the video this is the brazilian wool this is how it came out looking like so now that we are done sewing the third track we are going to flip this into two and we are going to start sewing now this track for this one you can sew it like four times depending on how you know satisfied you're okay with how the web is looking like you just go by just four times and then you know while you're sewing make sure that you're arranging it properly and then you're sewing arrange it so and you know do that until you're done with how the web is looking like and the amazing part about this second method is the fact that when you're done sewing all of these webs it is as in the hair is so secure now you're not talking of oh this hair is um is pulling out no it is so so secured like this is guarantee it is so secure especially if you actually stitch this properly it's very very secure you're gonna be seeing what i actually mean um very soon so don't go anywhere and don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and yes thank you to all my returning subscribers thank you guys for your support you guys are totally the best if you're new to my channel we do a lot of diys and you know hair transformation you know amazing hacks and all of that so why not stick around to this channel by subscribing in the if you haven't give this video a huge thumbs up turn up the notification so as to get updated when i post new videos and yes this is how the web is looking like very see how strong it is like this one is not the fact that it's pulling out or it's shifting to the left to the right you know just like beyonce so to the left to the left <laughs> anyways this one is just very secure than all of that so i'm gonna be sewing the second one that so that you guys can actually um understand how this is done so um i'm thinking what should i use this to do i think i'm gonna use this for a ponytail yes yeah, so if you want to see how i was able to transform this to a ponytail stick around because in my next video i am gonna be showing you all of that and the amazing hack that you can actually use um you know do your ponytail without drawstring yes without drawstring nets let me be very clear without drawstring nets i'm just going to be showing you how to do uh, a ponytail hack with your rubber band so if that is something that you would definitely like to watch stick around to this channel and let me know if you're you're so super amazed about this video in the comment section thank you lovelies for your support you guys are totally the best so when you're done sewing your track you go by one more time so i'm just gonna let you guys watch this video so that you can pretty much understand it New York back to my cold apartment Distance sucks but at least I'm still with you White out skies
So this is how the webs are looking like like it is so so amazing looking as though it is natural hair imagine adding this to your hair like nobody's gonna know nobody is gonna know that this is brazilian wool so natural and very very lovely so if you want to pack this this is how you can do that just add um you can use any ribbon or i actually got this um shiny piece from a used hair that i got so whatever you know thing that you want to use to just package this then add clip ins if you want to have that clip ins or like natural clip hair clip ins using brazilian wool this would work very well you've seen several videos of how people transformed you know create that natural hair using brazilian wool so i feel like if you if you cannot crochet it on your hair and you know something you want to you know use and you know use over time then this would definitely work having it as a wet would definitely work so lovelies thank you so much for watching this video to this extent you guys are totally the best i love you so so much let me know what you think what are your thoughts your opinions is this something you're gonna try out let me know in the comment section until then i'll see you all in my next video bye lovelies Used to doubt cause you were in right